the question is, so. I've heard some seasoned lenders say that it, um, they always require a personal guarantee uh, from their borrowers. Some say it's not necessary. Uh, what do we think? Well, personal guarantees are pretty much worthless in most cases. Jonathan's cracking a smile over there. Um, yeah, always have it. Always the, the saying is, you know, uh, all personal guarantors have one thing in common. They don't What's pay. that? They don't pay. <laughs> uh, and it's not that they wouldn't pay on the loan. It's, it's that if you have to rely on your personal guarantee, the, the time, effort, and money that it will take to enforce that most times outweighs the benefit because, you know, you can freeze bank accounts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, typically, unless there's like fraud or something like that, odds are if the project has failed and your, and your guarantor isn't paying you, they don't have any money. So freezing their accounts is probably not, you know, going to recoup your, you know, what your losses. Right. So, you, know, you know, there are a lot, like, it allows a lot of leverage. It allows a lot of um, uh, different maneuvers that you can do legally. Um, and it's a, also a, you know, it's, it's a psychological factor as well, but, but, you know, I've, I've only seen a personal guarantee in the last 10 years pursued once and it ended up costing more to pursue, to get that, um, you know, the money recoup from the personal guarantor than if they would have just walked away from the deal and cut their losses. Yeah. Best case scenario, you can put, you know, liens across whatever they own. And, you know, if they go to sell something, you might get, you, know, you might get a piece of that, yeah. but you're exactly right. So why doesn't everybody offer re non recourse loans in that case? Because that's well, really the point, right? Yeah. Let me throw my two cents in. There. Okay. When you're doing high loan to value loans, you're going to have more reason to have the personal guarantee That's right. because they don't have enough cushion uh, in that deal to recoup losses. Mm -hmm. um, most of it is institutional investors and, and banks uh, that are requiring this just because they want to be able to cover all their bases. If uh, a deal does go south, when you're dealing in loans like we do, mm -hmm. we have enough cushion. And the only time we would ever pursue somebody for a personal guarantee is if they maliciously uh, damaged and took stuff out uh, of the property that they shouldn't have. And again, purposely. And really, are we going to get any money out of it? No, we're doing it for spite because <laughs> they were being butts <laughs> and we're going to be a butt right behind them. <laughs> You know, if, if someone does that, I mean, you know, slapping judgments leans across all, all their properties. You know, here's the thing. Is there things that we can do to make your life very difficult with, you know, if you sign a personal guarantee and you're malicious about how you, you know, exit the property, um, you know? Yeah, absolutely. We, you know, we can file judgments, liens in every county that you mm -hmm. do business in. Uh, we can pay an attorney to freeze all the bank accounts that are tied to those LOCs, even your personal accounts. Um, yeah, we could, you know, will that stop? Like, is that the end all be all? No, there's, I mean, we live in a world where there's always ways around things, but right. we could make it very, very difficult. Um, and, you know, that's that's one of the things you have to quantify with as the lender is is going to that level to make it difficult for that person going to make the deal more equitable for you as the lender and that's the thing you have to weigh it's you know it's you know pros versus cons can i pursue something that will result in a you know a higher yield or if i pursue this will it result more often in a lower yield and that's, that's the thing you have to weigh. And personally, I'd rather have to weigh that option than not have that option to weigh. So I just I collect, I, I just collect get a poop from the guarantee. farm. Yeah, you're right. I, yeah. I just collect poop from the farm and mail it to them in a nice little package. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, 
<laughs> as as a lender, you know, one of the sayings that I that I like is, you know, as a lender, we like options, not obligations. Mm -hmm. So if I do a non-recourse loan, I am obligated to not be able to pursue you. If I do a full recourse loan, I have the option to pursue you. So right. we, you know, when you are setting something up, I, I will say it again, give yourself options, not obligations. Right. And, right. and at said. the same time, if you're a borrower and you're concerned about um, being personally responsible, uh, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Again, the only time you're ever going to be pursued is if you've done something malicious. And if you don't intend to be a butthead and do stuff that's malicious, then uh, there's not really any worry. Um, in, in our business specifically, if you're doing conventional loans where you're at 95% loan to value, you're going to have to sign it regardless. And you may have somebody that would pursue that. But um, again, as long as you're not being malicious in how you leave the property, right? Um, you don't have to worry about a personal guarantee. It costs them more money than it's worth in the first place. That's right. Malicious uh, means don't go dark, have communication, yeah, um, all of that good stuff, right? 